Hi, YouTube. As you know, I have this recent obsession with Vlogbrothers, and it's also 3 in the 3.35 a.m. right now. I'm looking at my clock on my laptop. It's 3.35 a.m. It's very late. I, I did Owl's rehearsal earlier, and I'm not wearing any makeup. And yes, I'm very glamorous right now with my pink fuzzy bathrobe. Hold on, I'll pop the collar so I seem a little bit more cool. Yeah, uber popped collar. Okay, so that's better. I was watching one of their videos. It was of one of the brothers at the Detroit Auto Show. And he was talking about green cars and fuel efficient economy, yay, yay, environmental cars. Hurrah for green cars, right? Well... Sorry, vlog brothers, but I have a, uh, I have a little gripe to, uh, to, uh, pick with you. I have a picking. I have to pick. I have a bone to pick. I have a bone to pick with you. A bone. Anyway, yes, this is this is a little bit ironic considering there's all these green cars. They're green cars coming out, and the, the reason they're green is because they do the electric thing, and then after that they get really good gas mileage, so like 40 miles a gallon or something like that. And um, that's really good gas mileage. Yay, yay for gas mileage. It's gonna be really good. All the effort and scrap and scrap metal and scrap rubber and scrap plastic or whatever that comes from all the extra bits for making these cars. I mean, there are literally tons and tons like thousands of tons of metal and scrap and trash from these new cars. I have yet to see a car that says 100% recycled material or 55% recycled material post-consumer waste. And there are all these uh, older cars out on the market that get fairly good gas mileage and burn the fuel the same way. Like a Festiva, sure it's small, but it's no bigger, it's bigger than a smart car and they get like 40 miles a gallon. My friend's Festi got Festiva, I called it Festi because that was the name of the car. My friend's Festiva got 40 miles a gallon, and it's bigger than a smart car. It's not environmentally friendly at all. Just get an old car and keep it in shape, and you're going to get fairly good gas mileage. Like, I mean, it's, le it's more about money now and less about the environment. Give me a recycled green car. Like, once you show me a... A Prius that uh, that was made out of 100% recycled material, that's a green car. That right there is a green car. That's your environmentally friendly car. If you just take care of your car now, you should be fine. Like, seriously. You won't be know that you're contributing to the waste and the new cars and the new companies and the new this. People are all on about, like, recycle books so we can make books out of recycled paper. But there's... You know how many cars there are in the world? So many cars! Seriously. It's ridiculous. It's not green. What's green is taking your old car and fixing it up, or taking your car that's diesel and switching it to run on vegetable oil. That's much less expensive than buying a new car. It's like $700 or something to, tra to uh, make a diesel car into a car that runs on vegetable oil. That's a green car. Sure, your car will smell like french fries, but it's no worse than it smelling like gasoline. I actually have something else to show you. I did a performance last weekend with my good friend Satori Circus. Picture of him here. He is a performance artist and generally awesome man. We actually hung out with him last night and it was awesome. We did awesome stuff and we're awesome together. And I'm performing with him again on Saturday night at the Metro Times Blowout. And it's going to be amazing. I performed with him last weekend at the Erotic Poetry Festival, 22nd Annual Erotic Poetry Festival, and The Real Detroit, which is a local news rag, like an alternative rag, came and took pictures and wrote about us and took notes or whatever, and there's a picture of me all dolled up in The Real Detroit. Let me go get it, and then I will come back and I will show you it, because it's really cool. I have to readjust my pillow fortress. This is the, that's not me, obviously, that's some hot chick from the washroom. Um, this is the newspaper, thing. zine, you should say. It's the zine here. Is the Tori Circus, and there's me. I'm wearing a sticker that says hot, 
and it says, Getting a wink and a smile from Satori and Kate at Corktown Tavern. I actually saw a bunch of people the other night when I was hanging out with Satori Circus at the beginning of the Metro Times blowout. It's like a four day long thing. And I saw a bunch of people who had met me there or had seen me there. And I was in like pants and a t-shirt and I had like a little bow in my hair, but I didn't have, I had very little makeup on and my glasses. And I was like, hi. And they were like, hi. And I was like, it's Kate from the other night, Satori Circus's assistant. And they're like, oh, you look really different. I was like, it's me. And they were like, oh, you look so different with your glasses on, blah, blah, blah. Which is code for, wow, you look really weird without makeup and pretty dresses on. So, yeah, I clean up good. So, yeah, I was in the newspaper, green cars aren't green, and I have a show on Saturday if you live in the Detroit metro area and you want to see me be cool or whatever. Just show up. Alright. Wait, um, hmm, that's not how it goes.